Hello and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk to you about how you can unleash your best self, transform your body and mind over the age of 40 with some foundational proven fat loss strategies. So this video is great for you if you're currently going through, you know, perimenopause, menopause and beyond because we're really going to be touching down on some of the foundational elements that are required in order for you to achieve fat loss. And let's dive right into um, the strategies and I hope you're ready and good to go. So number one, hormone imbalances so as you know um, women go through different stages and in, in lives from you know childbearing ages through to perimenopause and menopause and beyond and imbalances can essentially lead to a whole spectrum of changes within the body and at the end of the day it can lead to unwanted weight gain as well so what you want to focus on first and um, most importantly is you want to incorporate foods that are gonna support your body as you are going through the transitions right and as you are experiencing those hormonal challenges so you want to focus on things such as your leafy greens your nuts and seeds and also things like fatty fish are going to be really really beneficial um, as part of your everyday diet so as you know it's all about the balance but 80% of the food that you eat should be focusing on supporting your hormones and then you should also leave a little bit of room for the things that bring you joy like a Friday night glass of wine or slice of birthday cake and um, second strategy let's talk about resistance training so resistance training basically helps you build your muscles which decrease naturally with age and resistance training is great for revving up your metabolism so if you currently feel like you do have a bit of a sluggish and a slow metabolism and perhaps you aren't responding as well as you used to to you know try and um to to tighten up your diet and increase exercise then I highly suggest you incorporate strength training into your routine now you don't need to um, be part of a, a gym you can do those workouts and um, even body weight workouts out of the comfort at your home and I suggest you focus on um, putting two to three workouts into your schedule so it's about the quality not the quantity so only two to three workouts a week um, are really going to help rev up that metabolism so you burn fat long after you've finished your workout next i want to talk to you about interval cardio so also um, often referred to as hit training high intensity interval training so basically you you go really really hard out for a short amount of time and then you have a bit of a resting period now this is really good for your cardiovascular health and um, also needs to be part of your weekly routine when it comes to um, working out and exercising so it basically is really really good for burning extra fat especially those really stubborn fat cells that are often hard to to touch and eliminate um, especially around the middle because basically what you're doing is again you're revving up your metabolism with going really really hard for a short period of time and then allowing that heart rate to come right down now just want to be clear like I don't recommend you ladies that are going through a shift in hormones and that are having a tricky time losing weight I don't suggest you go running and I don't encourage you to do things like spin classes now I know it can be like a real stress relief to most of you but actually it's creating more stress than it does good to your body and as you might already know if you've um, been in my community for a while you know that when you're going through the hormonal changes that your stress response um, is a little bit more sensitive so things like running and doing spin classes are just going to elevate your cortisol levels next I want to talk about proper sleep because we all know that a lack of sleep can have a significant impact on weight loss especially if you are over the age of 40 because when you don't get enough 
quality sleep um, or you wake up or you struggle falling asleep, again, your cortisol levels get elevated and it heightens your stress response within the body. So it basically means when you produce more cortisol, it impacts your hunger levels. So you might find yourself being a little bit more hungry than what you normally would be, which also might uh, make you more prone to overeating as well. So it's got a huge connection to your appetite and that's why it's really really important to to get that quality sleep and you know there's things like establishing a, a nighttime routine and also you know really focusing on stress reduction which I'm about to touch base on in a minute so a lack of sleep really can disrupt your hormones um leptin and ghrelin in particular so make sure that you are getting enough of that powerful sleep and have a look and see is it your hormones that are making it hard to sleep is it just you know watching your favorite show on netflix or is it a lack of having like a nighttime routine that might make it rather hard for you to to get that quality sleep and obviously right now um temperatures have been rather hot and, and muggy so that could also impact on the way that you sleep so put some strategies into place to really um, help you with that so that you can lose the weight and maintain a healthy body. So next I want to um, move on to our next fat loss strategy. Another really, really important one, it's mindful eating, right? Because how often do we feel like we just caught out, get caught out when life is busy and we're just eating because we simply have to and we're not actually paying attention to what we eat and how much we eat. So you really want to, um, you know, get in tune with your natural hunger feelings and really eat slowly as well so that you are supporting your digestive system rather than trying to quickly eat whilst multitasking or whilst, you know, watching TV or scrolling your phone or whatever else it might be that's going on for you. Because when we're in tune with our body's hunger and fullness signals, eating right can become a lot easier and half of the time and this is what i find really really fascinating half the time when we think we're hungry it's actually a sign um our body's trying to tell you that we're thirsty so really check in am i actually physically hungry or am I a little bit dehydrated, um, making my body hungry? So you could easily test things out like, um, you know, have a glass of water to figure out if you are still hungry after that, and it's fine. By all means, go ahead and eat. And if not, there you have it. You may have been slightly dehydrated. So that leads me on to number six, where we talk about um, fat loss number six strategy, hydration. So it's really enough to get enough um, water because it's such a huge component of weight loss and and highly underrated like yes we all know that we need to be drinking more water but do we actually understand the importance um probably not so drinking water can obviously help you feel a little bit more full and there are studies that show clearly that it also stops you from overeating as well and when you drink a glass of water before a main meal it can help you feel more satisfied and more full so you're less likely wanting to go for seconds and it can also help you with things like you know craving um something sweet or like a dessert after dinner as well so ultimately if we reduce the amount we eat just by having a glass of water before you have your main meal then that can be super beneficial um additionally water can help um regulate your um metabolism as well especially cold water right so it can really help give things a little bit of a boost and water also will help your body to get rid of um toxins you know especially as toxins haven't settled yet and they're still kind of floating if you're drinking enough water you're actually giving your body a chance to essentially flush some of those toxins from your body which will aid in weight loss as well because often i talk to ladies and they're they've struggled to you know shift the weight but they're doing everything right it's often due to either like hormonal imbalances or um just having too many toxins in the body that the body much rather would just store those toxins and um, in form of a fat cell rather than those toxins docking onto your liver and other vital organs so it's a survival um mechanism so to to kind of summarize um this particular section where we're talking about drinking more water 
obviously you want to aim for at least eight glasses of water each day and then you know if you're having things like a smoothie or if you're eating plenty of veggies that is also full of water and when it's really really hot or you are you know doing physical activities that you know you might be sweating a lot and especially those ladies that are getting the night sweats you want to drink even more than that and make sure that it's spaced out throughout the day so that you don't end up being dehydrated which either might give you a headache or it might actually make you think that you are hungry when in fact you're not so it's really important to to aid your um you know like a healthy digestion and ultimately will support you in your weight loss journey um yeah like i said water is often highly underrated and such a simple thing to to implement um you want to also focus if, if water itself gets a little bit too boring you can have low calorie um, beverages such as herbal teas obviously it's summertime you get those cold brew teas they can be really really nice kombucha like if it's 100 percent organic is another great option to get something refreshing in you um sparkling water with just like you know a splash of lemon or unsweetened plant-based milks are all great options if you want to mix things up a little bit and have a bit of um, flavor to your drinks as well and it's all gonna add up to you know really hydrating you and it's also gonna leave you with like nice pure skin that doesn't look too dehydrated and just gives you that you know that clarity as well so yeah um, as you can tell I'm like, really passionate about talking about you know hydration and stuff like that because it's so underrated but Let's move on to um, fat loss strategy number seven. And I want to talk about stress next, right? Or stress management in particular because um, chronic stress really is um, such a common issue for a lot of women because we are caretakers, right? So you either take care of your children or perhaps aging parents and then there's the responsibility of, you know, your work and people around you. So it can really have that negative impact on, on your weight because we we like I mentioned before, like we get more sensitive when it comes to, you know, moving through those stages of perimenopause and menopause that it doesn't even take that much stress for the body to try and to hold on and store fat as opposed to releasing it. And it's often a build up over over time and very, very common for women over 40, because you're in your, you know, in that rush hour stage. And even though you might not feel particularly stressed out, just being really, really busy can actually Actually cause chronic stress and your body will then produce more cortisol which can increase fat storage making it rather difficult for women over 40 to actually lose weight and sometimes it can actually even make you gain weight which is obviously not ideal and as we touched base on a minute ago cortisol also plays with your your hunger hormones so that's like if you've had a meal and then like an hour later you're like oh my goodness i'm hungry again or you feel like you can just constantly keep on eating and you don't know why so for a lot of ladies that can happen after dinner and they're like oh my goodness i've had you know a really decent size um dinner why am i still hungry so it's, it's your body's um hunger hormones that have been played with due to an increase of cortisol and for a lot of women, um, they get that middle spread that, you know, you ladies quite often tend to complain about once you hit sort of 40 and your 50s as well, making it a little bit harder to, to get rid of um, the fat around your stomach. Um, yeah, so what are you going to do about it? So you really want to focus on stress management. Obviously, we can't change our children. We can't change the fact that we're looking after aging parents and we can most likely not change our line of work but you can incorporate stress management techniques um which are really really helpful so i'm a big fan of um breath work because it's it's quick it takes a couple of minutes but it's um statistically proven to lower the stress response in the body and uh, you might also enjoy the likes of um, meditation there's so many cool things out there and apps that you can download for that all things like you know yoga they're all really effective ways to ultimately reduce stress and promote relaxation a really good time to to do that is um 
sort of in the evening, very close to bedtime. And journaling can actually also be quite helpful. So if you've got a lot swirling on and uh, up there and a lot going on in your head, just writing things down in a journal, whether that's a to-do list or, you know, things that have been bugging you, it will help regulate your cortisol level. So it's so, so powerful. Um, and I definitely encourage you to, to make that part of your routine. And like I said, if meditation isn't your jam, then that's fine. Just look at doing some some breath work to to help reduce some of that cortisol, especially if you've been struggling to shift um, the weight, even though you might feel like you're doing everything right, but just aren't getting any traction with your um, weight loss goals. Um, yeah, it's ultimately all about you finding what works for you and also what fits in with your schedule at the end of the day. And lastly, I want to touch base on your um, support system. It's really important that you surround yourself with people to not only support your goals, but ideally also have very, very similar goals. So it could be as simple as you know, um, in engaging in a local walking group or finding a workout partner. And some ladies are lucky enough that, you know, their other half is on a very similar page and they know how much it means to you in order to help support you for your goals. If that's not the case for you, um, you know, the likes of the, this private Facebook community um, is a great place to actually start, get tips and tricks, but also, you know, mingle with like-minded women. Um, yeah, don't hesitate to reach out and at the end of the day the more you can surround yourself with people that are on a similar path like you the easier it will make things when you know life isn't always straightforward and you feel like you're you're struggling and you just need someone to to not only hold you accountable but most most uh, importantly offer you the support that you need and it's really good to keep that motivation up when you when you um I'm trying to lose weight because you know life always gets in the way so hopefully this has been helpful um but by focusing on a hormone friendly diet um by you know getting enough movement and the right types of exercise such as you know resistance training and also some um cardio based hit training stress management sleep hydration you know support and accountability all of those pillars combined together make the perfect strategy for fat loss um, for any woman over the age of 40 and then if you are still struggling or if you're ready to you know take your weight loss efforts to the next um, step like I'm here to guide and support you um, I would invite you to to have a chat so we can talk about what it looks like you know kind of working closely together inside of my coaching or one of my coaching programs where we put together a strategy that is designed to to help you with all of those pillars um, based on your unique situation and also your lifestyle preference. So if this is you, just, you know, reach out, let me know that you are ready to get some information on what this would look like. And we'll just make sure that, you know, working together is going to be a good fit. But either way, um, if you are watching this and you're new in my community or for some reason you haven't got your hands on my weight loss menopause bundle yet just comment below um bundle because basically in that bundle i've put together my popular hormone balancing meal plan as well as um a workshop on on the three steps that might currently be preventing you to lose weight and um, also some really helpful tips to get off the hormonal roller coaster so if you want access to that bundle comment bundle and i appreciate you watching and tuning in today and i look forward to to our next video thanks for watching